corruption is criminal, immoral, and the ultimate betrayal of public trust. For many people in all regions, corruption has been a long-standing source of distrust and anger against their leaders and governments. But corruption in the time of COVID-19 has the potential to seriously undermine good governance around the world and to send us even further off track in our work to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. The consequences of corruption in public service delivery always hit the poor, marginalized and vulnerable the hardest. As an age-old plague takes on new forms, let us combat it with new heights of resolve. Since the eighth session of the Conference of the State Parties in Abu Dhabi, we have been more active than ever in fighting corruption. We have strengthened international cooperation and tackled linkages with other forms of crime. Together, we have enabled the recovery and return of stolen assets and developed innovative solutions. We have advanced prevention through education, leveraged the engagement of women and young people, and mobilized allies in civil society, academia, and the private sector. In order to implement the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, we must end corruption. The ANGAS political declaration builds upon the existing architecture and will provide the international community with a roadmap for the future. It is a tool to renew our joint action through the UN Convention Against Corruption. It is an opportunity to create more robust systems for transparency and integrity without delay. expect the global network to empower all countries with practical solutions and tools to track, investigate and prosecute corruption, complementing existing frameworks. It is only in partnership, it is only together with others, that we can effectively tackle criminal activities like corruption, which affects, unfortunately, all areas of society, including business, politics and sport. Because we have changed to embrace good governance and integrity, today's signature is a, a real milestone for FIFA. The Memorandum of Understanding of today is not just a document that we sign to have a nice picture. It is a document that we will live and we are already living. So the fight against corruption in sport and in football in particular, and let me say in FIFA as well, is our top priority. To succeed, we must hold companies accountable and foster business ecosystems that enable transformational change, which includes removing corruption from the equation once and for all. Together, let us transform words and aspirations into concrete action. Corruption steals from young people and slows progress, depriving them of a prosperous future. We are the ones that are stuck dealing with its consequences. It's going to be young people at the forefront fighting that corruption. I think it's, it's actually a wake-up call for every young person out there to become innovative. <coughs> Let's look for disruptive means of solving these corruptions. Let's look for um, ICT-based ways of fighting this corruption. Let's look for possible ways which have not been tried before, ways that have not been used before to fight corruption. I think the hacker team has answered that big question. Let's cover that gap. <laughs>